This is a beautifully made car. 200,000 miles, never missed a beat. It looks Mercedes like it. don't build cars like this today. Which well, brings us neatly to the new Mercedes C-Class. Now, Johnny looked like the perfect man to go and test it, but then we found out that it was aimed at younger, more trendy people. So, of course, I had to go. But you see, you didn't, though, did you? I did. Yeah, it's probably because you begged like a girl, Johnny. This is the new Mercedes C-Class. After just a few moments in the car, you actually reach some inescapable conclusions. Firstly, the C-Class now looks a lot better. Secondly, the C-Class, thanks to its trick new agility control suspension, now drives a damn sight better. It's nice and soft and wafty when you just want to take it easy. And then it's sharp and sporty when you're in a bit of a hurry. Thirdly, it's priced about the same as the old model, and given you're getting a little bit more power and a little bit more economy from the engines, I reckon that means it's a little bit better value. So, good car then. The end. Actually, not quite. You see, I think the C-Class deserves a bit more attention than that. Mercedes have tried desperately hard to make the new C-Class perfect. In fact, they've spent five years getting it ready. Imagine spending five years on your homework. I've got to say, everything has that real feeling of solidity about it, which is great, because that's what Mercedes are all about. And it's got a good mix here of traditional Ben stuff and cutting-edge design. Take the switches. Simple things, but Mercedes boffins have engineered them on an almost sexual level. For starters, the surfaces are coated with a special lacquer to give them a silky sheen. So when you use them, you can sense the designers are flirting with you. And they're precisely made so each travel just 0.8 millimetres, taking just four newtons of force to switch them on. I love that fact. I mean, they must have actually had a meeting that went... Should we make it five newtons? Oh, no, what about three? No, no, no. Four. Four is just right. And they're not wrong. And then there's the seat, which again has been designed in a mildly perverse manner to ensure that the pressure is distributed evenly across my butt cheeks. Especially, and I quote, the tuber isiadicum, the area to the side of the pubic bone, which basically means two things. One, this car's comfier on longer journeys, and two, it means that Merck designers have been sketching pictures of backsides and pubic bones. Now that is job satisfaction. One function in particular seems to encapsulate the peculiarly German precision to the C-Class's systems. Six, getting a very pungent smell. Seven, supposedly on every tenth wash wipe, the headlamps get cleaned. Nine, ten. Oh yeah. Not lying. There are similar delights at the rear of the car. Merck have actually patented these ventilated rear light clusters. As you drive along, air is sucked up from under the car and drawn up behind the rear bumper, and it gets chucked out of these vents. The way it comes out makes the air flow a lot tidier, and believe it or not, that reduces lift. One of the most exciting things on the new C-Class is the entertainment system. It has a 4 gig hard drive, which you can load CDs onto. It then orders the artists and albums, a bit like an iPod. You can get surround sound in every seat, so it's highly likely that you'll retire to the garage to enjoy your music, rather than listening to that dusty old hi-fi in your front room. There's delicious engineering all over the C-Class. I love the fact that they've reduced the volume of the heater fan by 3 decibels. I love the fact that the paint has microscopic pieces of ceramic in it to make it scratch resistant. I love the fact that at motorway speeds the headlamp output rises from 35 to 38 watts so you can see 50 metres further ahead. So I think you get the idea. I'm actually a really big fan of the C-Class. I would definitely buy one over a 3 Series BMW because everyone's got a 3 Series. People buy them just for the sake of buying them. I blow hot and cold with the way the 3 Series drives, and this car's brilliant. I mean, it caters for different moods with its suspension settings. It's got that feeling of Merck strength and robustness, even though it's the baby bends of the range. It's oozing with technology, but it hasn't come at the detriment of quality. Thank you, Mercedes.
Thank you. I love you. Johnny, you showed that car a lot of love. I did. I got an awful lot of time for the C-Class. I actually think that that is the most rounded, beautiful model they've ever done. Mm -hmm. But do you love it more than your own? My W123-200T? Yeah. Well, I don't think so. You see, A, I'm a miser, and B, I can service this with my own two hands. I see. Well, it's a shame that you love this car so much, because unfortunately it was the only one we could find to lend to the motorcycle display team for the next stunt. Motorcycle display yeah, yeah, team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 hang on. Da, da, da. 